What should we do with all our waste? It's a burning question, but for some people. That's why a large incinerator to burn rubbish has planning permission to be built just outside of Stroud. But what if instead of setting fire to our waste, we could see it as a resource for us to make new things with? That's why we want to build R4C. R4C is an idea whose time has come. There are plants like it being built across Britain that use an automated process to sort the contents of your bin bag using magnets, air currents, water, and even infrared light. The process separates all kinds of plastics, metal, and anything recyclable, which, as it turns out, is nearly all of our rubbish. It's amazing what some people throw away. The waste is cleaned, dried, and sorted into five main types. Plastics, glass, electronics, metal, and organic material. The plastics, glass, electronics, and metal all have a direct value, and they can be sold on as raw materials or recycled. Amazingly, when sorted, plastics can be worth twice as much as scrap metal. What's left of the organic waste is dried, compressed and pelletized to be sold as fuel to power generators. So, in some way, shape or form, nearly everything can be reused and be profitable. Gloucestershire's recycling rate is currently around 50%. The R4C plant would immediately push the county's recycling rate up to 72.3%. And that could rise wonderfully to over 90% if you count the biomass fuel that it creates as well. And all of that with no change to how your waste is collected. So how do the two options stack up? The R4C running costs would save the taxpayer £10 million every single year. That would improve other services that the council offer, from playgroups to social care to housing, no end. More than 90% of the incoming waste at R4C emerges as high-grade recyclable or usable renewable power. And the incinerator? Well, that promises no more than just 22% energy recovery, and the only recycling it'll do is to turn some of the remains of the burnt waste into aggregate, turning valuable resources into road fill. But what about the carbon dioxide emissions? Well, the figures speak for themselves. So let's leave our outdated technology in the past. Let's make the most of our waste, not burn it. Let's become world leaders in recycling rates and CO2 emissions. Let's build R4C. Visit communityr4c.com to find out more.